Mighty Wolf TV. Hey guys, it's Trevin Scheller, owner of My Wolf TV. Back again playing Tears of the Kingdom. So in the last video we uh, started playing. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the shrines. As soon as this loads... So I know I haven't recorded in the last two days. I was actually, like I said in the past, I was, uh, there's a shrine. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I don't record, um, you know, every day in the week. I now just do five days a week. Or four, I don't know. Because of work and the Mighty Boy Season 1 remake. Okay, hey, where's the last... Is that it over there? No. I was also playing uh, this game more in my own time. Really enjoying it. Alright, I'm just gonna head to that one. Yeah, so the shrines are uh, very different, by the way. A lot cooler and more futuristic. I, I really like them. There were some shrines that I had a really hard time figuring out in my uh, personal profile. Like, there was this one shrine that I couldn't do at all, I just flat out skipped it. Well, I wasn't looking. Rush rooms. Alright. Uh, nothing over here. You made it to the Yukko Shrine. Or however you say it. So now we can teleport here. And this is really cool looking. This door. It's so trippy, like look. Like, it's literally a portal. It's so cool. I, I, I like these better. Nah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna skip every shrine cutscene after this one. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm is lost. Now then, extend your hand. So yeah, this is the Great Plateau Shrines from Breath of the Wild all over again. And these are basically uh, runes. I really like these powers. Ultra Hand is the one I probably use the most. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. It's basically a uh, Magnesis, but better. Basically a much better Magnesis. Like, look, it's literally just Magnesis. Yeah, that was easy. So here's one thing you could do. So you could actually, um... Rotate. Which is a huge improvement, honestly. It's something I wish 
That was something I wished Breath of the Wild had with its magnesis. I remember I remember wanting that. It's like you had to like physically move it around and keep disabling the magnesis and keep enabling it. It's, it was so annoying. It's like this is just so much better. Oh yeah, so that shows us what to do. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've, so I have done this before. Is this really a blind playthrough at this point? Not really. Ah, uh, no. Wait for me. Thank you. Yeah, I just that thing just went off about me. And we made it to the end. Yeah, so now it's two statues. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. This. And there was that bit of darkness in there. A light of blessing, which is just the new um, spirit orbs, basically. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek, instead of uh, may the goddess shine upon you, or something like that. It's weird that it's statues instead of like this really old guy. You did very well. All uh, you did very well getting through all that, or that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door of the Temple of Time. Yeah, I was just using the scope before. Oh, so there's the uh, the other one. Yeah, we already pinned that. We already pinned that one. So now we have the Ultra Hand, it'll be... It'll make the game a lot easier. Okay, let's... Wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, so if you jiggle it, um, that... Um, that detaches it. I just want to make a bridge. Okay, I need to... There. Oh, it's a uh, mushroom. Oh, I thought there was something else down here. It's not. Yeah, we could definitely make a bridge now. See, it's easy as that. Oh look, apples. Did we get apples yet? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did the first video like two days ago. And I also keep thinking about my personal profile. But yeah, dude, this game is really good, really addicting, much like its, uh, much like its predecessor. I like more apples. Oh yeah, so my dad, um, he's trying to do a, um, 
a no death save, just like he did in Breath of the Wild. And he already failed once. But I, I also, I really hope he could do it. That'd be really cool. Like he's done in Breath of the Wild. Wait, what? Why we get? Oh, because I didn't search the. Yeah, so... One arrow. Oh, no, two arrows. Oh, hey, an axe. Oh, wait, I don't have the... Acorn. Worthless. I'll take these. Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Hmm? Pardon me, I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Not really. There, I just... Korok frond. Don't you mean Korok leaf? Well, unless it's something smaller. So I actually found a replacement to Korok leaves in this game. But I'll show you when we find it. Oh uh, look, uh, glow flies. Or fireflies, I was getting mixed up with Splatoon 3. The uh, salmon run. Alright, let's um... Attach... That. more actually I don't know yeah this is a good reason to cut down trees ridges I wouldn't recommend it in real life but I would definitely recommend it in the game yeah don't cut down trees in real life please I'm sure we'll find a I don't know why I feel like uh, in the future we could find like an alternative to things made from trees. Like, I'm sure we'll find paper that's made from something that's not trees. I don't know. Like, you notice how people are, like, against trees being cut down, but they're not against, like, eating plants? Like, what's up with that? That's something I actually never really thought of until now. It's like, when you eat plants, like lettuce or salads, like, everyone's okay with that. But then when you cut down a tree, like, people are upset about it. Something I, something I never really thought of. What's up about that? Uh, how do we get over here? Do we have any fans? No, we don't. That section of the... Menu's not even open. Well, I think the thing is that with trees, it's like those provide... See, my reason why we shouldn't cut down trees is because, you know, trees provide oxygen. Which we need to breathe, so if you cut down all the trees in the world, we won't have any oxygen. Or we'll just have a lot less. And it also gets, it also gets a lot hard, hotter. So, you know, that's why that's my personal reason why we shouldn't cut down trees. Oh, I will take that. Well, I want, I want your bow. Oh, that's arrows. Oh, is there a Korok in there? There has to be a Korok in there. Yep, I knew it. Are we close to the shrine? Oh yeah, I'm looking just look at the map. We are not. Or kind of. I mean, we're heading in the right direction now. 
Oh wait. Frog. No more frogs. Uh, one of these fangs, and I don't have. Do I have? I do not. Okay. I just can't get that guy. All right, there's the shrine over. Okay, it's got shrooms. But anyways, there's the shrine right over there. Just. It looks like we can go under here. Oh, it's uh. This is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me. I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. Oh yeah, these... So these are like mini uh, Korok quests. So you have to like, get them back together. want to catch a ride. No! Okay, he's safe. Come on, go down. Come on. Go on. Bye bye. Now we just have to get across. Yeah, and us getting across will help us get to that shrine. <laughs> Come on, get, get over here, please. Okay. We're good. guys are now reunited. Two Korok seeds. That's why it's worth doing. You get two. I hear a noise. What is that? Also, I got a lot of arrows, but no bow. Zone I charge. So I actually know what those are for, but you find out later. Alright, let's go. Okay. And here comes the clouds again. I also realize it's not fog, it's just the clouds passing through. Oh, here's one of these guys. Cool, more zone I charge. Uh, oh, we got that.
Uh, looks like there was something under there. Oh, no, there's no- I thought that was an item. That shoots you, Jelly. Oh, we got two restless crickets. I don't know how we did, but we did. Okay, so the shrine is this way. How can we get to it? We have more choo choo. Okay, so we're gonna stone tune handed axe. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a uh, a boat. Okay, and now we just need another log. Oh wait, we could just cut one down. That's right. There. All right, now let's use this. All right, good. Now we could just put this in the water and get on. And off we go. Now you're probably thinking we just we could just swim across, but it's too far away. And plus there's a current going that way. So we definitely couldn't. Really close to the shrine. Come on. Nope. Uh, at least I was able to get back up. Okay, we're going towards the wall. Why? Okay, mushrooms. Oh look, a little uh, cave right here. Okay, we need um can't definitely can't break that. Yeah, I'm not sure which shrine this is, but I think this is the I don't remember which ability you get from this one. Like, I know it's one of two. Oh, here he is again. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. So it's either the, uh... The fuse or the ascend. Now it's fuse. Yeah, I really like that one. It's cool power. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapons or shield, thereby enhancing it. All right, let's do it. Could use this rusty claymore. Um, I have a rusty broadsword, and check it out. It's got a rock sword.
All right. Oh, and there's these things. These things are really awesome to have. Fire fruit. You could attach. Uh, you could actually attach those to uh, that. Actually, I, I could actually show you. Yeah, look. This is how you attach things to arrows. And hey, look, f fire arrows. Basically. Small key. Yes, you already have fire arrows this early in the game. It would have been nice if there was a Korok in there. Though I know you would never encounter one in shrines. Also, look how slow it, these doors are. Remember, Breath of the Wild's um, locked doors and shrines were much faster. Oh, and here's uh, Zonai. Burning him alive. Just like that. Construct bow. And. can't get that. Ooh, Captain constructs one horn. Or it's construct eye, I don't know. Yeah, that's two shrines. Oh, you can actually see them for a little window. I didn't notice that before. And that makes two. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to do the third one in this video, but we could definitely break those rocks in the hole at least. I came because there was something I failed to give you. Please take it. Oh yeah. Yeah, this thing's really cool. Energy cell. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. And trust me, it definitely will be. Three hits. Alright, now where's that hole? Right over here. Okay, now what's... Oh, it's a uh, waterfall. Go in a chest. Amber. Yeah, Amber looks, re Amber looks really different in this game. No, get off the wall. I get some more rush rooms, why not? And as you can see, this takes us to the uh, other side. But we want to be on this side. Yeah, so when I played Tears of the Kingdom, on my personal profile, I actually um, did the uh, the third shrine second, and then, and then I did the shrine we just did third, and I actually went this way. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't really know the correct way to go. 
when I first played this. Sky shrooms. Oh, well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to stay tuned. We'll see you in the future, and have a great day, guys. We will be back again with this game soon, and we will fight those zone eyes over there.